Investigations continue into a series of bizarre incidents involving groups of senior ladies socially assaulting younger men. To date, there has been over 20 separate incidents reported in the quiet town of Seton, Peru, but police believe that many incidents may be going unreported. The motives behind these incidents remain unclear, but Terence Jones, a 52-year-old history teacher, told us of his experience. I was walking through the park when they came at me from behind. Before I knew it, I was gently pinned to the floor and given a shoulder rub. Simultaneously, two others scrambled to pull my trousers and socks off. After making sure I was wearing clean underwear, they proceeded to give me a foot massage and I recall glancing upwards to see their ringleader just staring at me with a comforting look of pure empathy as she started knitting. I was offered a cup of tea plus a choice of tuna or roast beef sandwiches and although I initially refused, they weren't taking no for an answer. For the next three hours, they repeatedly took it in turns to force feed and pamper me until I passed out. Apart from a slightly itchy neck from a brand new knitted scarf, I awoke from the experience feeling slightly bloated but otherwise very tranquil. When I got home, I found my pockets were stuffed with walnut coffee cakes and I even got a lavender scented birthday card several weeks later with a five pound book token. The general consensus is that these Gentile ladies pose no real threat to the community and are just grannies being grannies. However, for Braden Hudsmith, a 22-year-old practicing hipster, the experience left him emotionally scarred. The tea was not decaf, there was no vegan sandwich option, and the bread wasn't gluten-free. They even mistook some remains of a kiwi akai facial mud scrub for dirt and gave me a tuna flavoured lip wash. I cry myself to sleep most nights. The Whippet managed to locate one self-confessed granny banger who explained her motives. I have grandchildren of my own who I adore, but all they do is feck around on their social face media phone doings when they visit. We miss the human interaction, plus it's nice to give back to the community.